On October 19, 1970, BP announced the discovery of oil in the North Sea. Five years later, massive North Sea oil revenues began to flow south from Scotland to London. The discovery of oil energized Scotland. A door was opened to a better future. A future of growing wealth for all and an end to poverty. A future where Scotland would rejoin the nations of the world. Scotland's cause took a big step forward. The SNP's success put our nation to the top of the political agenda. But down in London, the people with the power were getting worried. Really worried. They wanted all the wealth from the oil for themselves, and they were ready to lie and to cheat to keep control of Scotland and her oil. Recently, secret papers reveal the extent of London's deception. They tried to say the oil wasn't Scottish. Our information division has sought for some time in briefing to undermine SNP claims to North Sea Oil. Indeed, it is part of my standard sales pattern. They tried to delay the return of the Scottish Parliament. Progress towards devolution should be delayed for as long as possible. In public, the government ministers denied the true extent of Scottish oil wealth. But in private, secret papers show a very different story. All that is wrong now with the SNP estimate is that it is far too low. They knew oil could put Scotland into a different league. An independent Scotland could now expect to have massive surpluses both on its budget and on its balance of payments. If we had known then what we know now, Scotland would be a better, richer, more socially just nation. The British government has done their best to hide the truth. But the truth has come out. This is probably the greatest piece of international larceny since the Spanish stole the Inca gold. In the 1970s I was a student when the SNP were campaigning on oil I thought, well, a good campaign, but that can't possibly be true. Now we know that every single word was true. London lied about the scale of the resource, they lied about the impact on Scotland, and then they pulled out every dirty trick in the book to stop Scotland getting a hold of the revenues. You know, there's an old saying that if you fool me once, shame on you, fool me twice, shame on me. And that's exactly the attitude that Scotland should have for the next 30 years of oil and gas. London's lies in the 70s are still hurting Scotland today. Because London took all the revenues, we have become the first country in history to discover oil and yet to become relatively poor. And to add insult to injury, the Chancellor, Gordon Brown, has just announced a surcharge on the North Sea. Two billion pounds extra for London this year, at the expense of Scottish jobs and Scottish futures. And after 30 years of production, we're only at the halfway stage for Scottish oil and gas. And at today's prices, there is 850 billion pounds worth of oil left. Now that's a big number. In fact, it represents 170,000 pounds for every man, woman and child in Scotland. As we look forward to the next 30 years of Scottish oil, Scotland has a second chance. We have regained our parliament. And that parliament must become custodian for Scotland's oil and Scotland's oil revenues. Next year, we should elect a Scottish government to lead the way to full independence, an SNP government. Scotland must take responsibility for its own future, because the future can be ours, and I believe it is. If you would like to join the SNP, visit our website at smp.org or call 0131 525 8925.